Hey guys, welcome back to UD Figure. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Deadpool. And this one is a long time coming, right? Um, personally, I'm never like a really diehard fan for Deadpool, um, but I bought a few here and there, right? I bought a Figma one, bought a Reveal Tag one. I didn't get a Mayfex one, but um, SH Figure Arts is finally making one. So um, this might be the best out of the four, right? Um, in terms of durability, um, just based on my own experience. Um, we don't have any guns. Um, I remember the Mayfax one didn't have any guns as well. I'm not sure what it is, the gun law, but yeah, a lot of people are making um, customized gun for him, holster and all that good jazz. So uh, I think we don't have to worry about that too much. Anyways, um, here's the love of the box. Here's the right of the box and here's the back of the box. And this figure is super hard to pre-order. Um, I actually got this on um, second market. So it is a little bit expensive, but uh, it is what it is. Um, Deadpool is very, very popular. And yeah, let's check it out. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging, and he came with a lot of hands. Probably the most hands I've seen in a very long time. Um, now we definitely need to get some accessories for him. And I heard there's a lot of QC issues, but hopefully mine is fine. And I feel like, I don't know, unsatisfying customers are always the loudest, so uh, we have to take the social media with a grain of salt. But anyways, um, let's check it out. All right, and here we have the figure itself. And my first impression on this figure is pretty good. Um, I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels, and I've already played around with it a little bit. Um, overall, I really liked it in terms of articulation. As expected from SH Figure Arts, um, the figure is nice and durable, but I've never been a big fan of um, the way they designed the bicep over here. This design is very similar to their Spider-Man figures, and I always thought it's a little bit too skinny, but I digress. Let me know in the comments on what you think. And right out of the box, the only issue I have with this figure is probably the neck being too short, but um, that is very easily fixable with a little bit of a mud. And I've already seen some customizers just adding a piece of plastic here, so that's not a problem. And the paint job is really nice. Um, I like how he has some like um, old like weather look to it um, with the black brush. That's really cool. And one thing I found it interesting is that they actually have a hole over here, so they were probably thinking about giving him some more accessories, but they just decided not to. I'm not sure what kind of law um, they're following, but yeah, this is pretty cool regardless. And it is very easy for you to find customizers that's selling those accessories. So yeah, um, I've already pre-ordered mine from somewhere. I'll share with you guys um, if I um, get it. And yeah, um, let's check out some articulation. I don't think there's anything you guys haven't seen already. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over here from the neck down. He can look up about this much. Look down about this much, you can tilt his head side to side, no problem. Huh, it is a little bit stuck though. I'm not really sure if this is all he can do for looking down, but yeah, uh, mine's a little bit stuck, like just right here, hmm, just for reference. And for the shoulder, uh, we do have a really nice butterfly joint, and the shoulder pad over here is actually soft material, so you can raise his arm up about this much. And you do have bicep swivel over here, um, so that's really nice. Um, just to show you guys, um, this is where um, it connects with the shoulder pad. And for the bicep, you can curl about this much, which is really nice. Again, I much prefer um, the American style where this doesn't have like so much um, wiggle room because it's a little bit skinny and feels a little bit fragile. And uh, we do have um, hinge wrist, bolt wrist, all that good jazz. And for the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much. You can bend backwards um, only about this much. You have some pretty decent side to side movement. And for the leg, um, it is the 2.0 hip design. We don't have any pull down method or anything, but you can kick up about, well, let me just move this around because there's a lot of pieces over here. Kick up about this much, bend about this much, thigh swivel, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. And I believe that's it for the articulation. Overall, um, it is your modern SH Figures articulation. Um, nothing is like really surprisingly new, but yeah, I'm um, just really glad that we're getting a Deadpool SH Figures. And let's check out some accessories. He came with a lot of hands. And for the accessories, it is fairly straightforward. Uh, we get a rack of hands over here. I'll show you guys during the action posing. Uh, we get a little tool for you to interchange the eyes. And then we have three pairs of eyes. I'll somehow show you guys during the action posing as well. And here are the katanas. Um, they are a little bit small to me, but we'll see after he holds it. But unfortunately, it is one of those designs where um, you can't really put the katana into on the sheath it is a separate piece and you can take this off of course and lastly we have a little piece over here you can take this out um interchange with the one that's without a knife and here is the little knife yeah unfortunately he didn't come with anything else and obviously they probably had plans for it but huh, it is what it is and let's check out some action posing
And for the size comparison, let us start with some Mayfax figures. And even though that pull is a little bit short here, but I think they look really good together. And next up, we have some good old Dragon Ball SH figure arts. And then we have some Naruto and Jujutsu Kaisen SH figure arts. And lastly, we have some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think the figure is pretty good, and I do highly recommend it. Um, for me personally, uh, I have been waiting for a good Deadpool figure for a very long time. Um, I know there's a lot of choices out there, but um, I'm a big fan for SH figures. I love the durability, I love the articulation. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with any guns, um, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of customizers that can um, help us with that. But yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.